Hi, my name is J.D. Lifshitz. This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm here to talk about Another Earth, uh, Mike Cahill's fantastic uh, independent science fiction film. And I think when I, when I think about independent films and I'm trying to give people advice into how to get into them, you know, I always think of uh, 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 you know, a, a few films that I think really um, uh, show what you can do on a small budget. One of them is The Signal uh, from 2007, David Bruckner. Uh, and Jacob Gentry and Dan Bush's film, which is something that um, you really shouldn't try to do because it's insane and it's a miracle that it works and it's not a good lesson uh, other than that it's a good movie. Uh, and Another Earth, which I think is actually a, a great test study in how um, you know a, a little bit of uh, money and a lot of ingenuity can make something that, that stands the test of time and feels uh, like a full meal. Uh, this movie premiered at Sundance and it was made for a micro six-figure budget um, and sold for seven figures to Fox Searchlight, uh, may it rest in peace. Uh, and it's just really, uh, you know, a lot of people will talk about the, the, the European influence and obviously Tarkovsky and, and uh, I know Cahill's talked about uh, the Polish trilogy, but ultimately uh, this movie feels like a great Twilight Zone episode uh, for, you know, that, and I think that's part of the reason. It, it, it's, a, it's a science fiction film, uh, you know, really interested in the human implications of what it's putting forward. And so without further ado, let's watch the trailer for Another Earth. This is Dr. Joan Tallis, the United States Planet Earth. Do you read me? Is anyone out there? This, this movie is fantastic. It tells the story of a young woman who goes through an unimaginable tragedy when she kills uh, a, a, two, a mother and daughter in a, in, a, in a car accident, I believe, and only to find a little time later that uh, there is a parallel world to ours that has been found. And on that planet, perhaps this tragedy never happened. She writes a letter in the hope that she'll be one of the first people to go to this planet uh, and wins the contest. Now, if this you know, kind of sounds very, very plotty, it, it really isn't. It's a, it's a story-driven movie, first and foremost, uh, for those who care about that distinction. Uh, and it really is a, a narrative of, of profound pathos and, and guilt. And it's just a, a really, really emotionally potent picture. Uh, and it's got a great song in the trailer. If you're listening to that song, I, uh, it's, a, it's a really, really great song, really well-cut trailer. And Britt Marling broke out of this movie. I mean, she's, you probably recognize her now if you've seen the OA or, or Arbitrage, but she's just fantastic in this movie. She co-wrote it with Mike Cahill. And, and there's just a real tenderness and, and you know, all the cast has just a wonderful chemistry. Um, and it's biting off so much more than, than any movie should be able to chew. I mean, it's a, it's a micro-budget movie. This movie should be terrible. And it's just, it finds the poetry in these small moments. Moments. And uh, I remember seeing this movie in Fant Fantasia Film Festival and just being moved to tears and thinking it was, uh, you know, just really, really wonderful. And I don't think enough people talk about it considering, you know, I think maybe because it's not a traditional straight genre picture, but if you really are, you know, looking for a masterclass and how to get the most out of a small amount of money, this movie, I think it really, really does the trick. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite independent films of the past 20 years. Uh, and I don't think enough people recognize it the way that they should. And unfortunately, Cahill has struggled a little bit in his, in his uh, follow-up films to get the straight same attention that this one got. To whatever extent it did, but Brit Marling, really, Brit Marling fans, if you if you like Brit Marling, this is this is where it all began. This is before Sound of My Voice, I believe, in terms of release, and um, and and it's actually my preferred movie. I think that it's uh, just really a, a film that's interested in in the possibilities of cinema uh, on a budget that wouldn't suggest that. Mm -hmm.